Have they gone? Shut up. All right. I think we're okay. We're all right. Yes. I feel sick every time I turn a bloody corner. We've just come from home. We just. That's not my home. Not that hole in the ground filled with lice and blood and filth, I mean home. Our home. England. Warm, sunny, green England. Well, that's the first time I've heard it described quite like that. It's not funny, Ed. We're gonna die if we stay here. No, we're not. We can go back in a bit. There was a lot happening. We didn't know they were coming, you know. We hadn't prepared. You panicked. A lot of people did. They'll understand. I didn't panic. It was a tactical retreat. And no, they won't understand. I'm not going back out there. I'm telling you that now. There's no shame in being scared. I get scared all the time. My Mary says that well, I get- Your Mary isn't here now, though, is she? Anyway, I didn't get scared. I never get scared. It would take a lot more than some foreign bloke with a carving knife to scare me. Let's just stay here, until we know it's safe. But I want to be back there with the boys, Will. They need us. That's where the fight is. That's where the Fritz is. And that's where you stay. Forever. You'll be six feet under before you can say, God save the king. I could do it. I could take out a hundred of them if I wanted to. I did really well in my training. Sergeant Daniel said I showed real promise and that I could be one of the greats and that- He has to say that, stupid. He says that to everyone. That's how he gets young dingbats like you to come out here, get shot in the face so he can get some shiny medal for his family to sell when he's gone. Oh. Right. Anyway. You don't have your rifle. You dropped it, remember? What was it? No, I didn't. What? I didn't drop it. <laughs> yes, you did. No, I didn't. When the whistle went, you grabbed it and then threw it and told me to run. Believe what you want to believe. I saw you drop it. Don't you worry. I will. We're only out here for you. As soon as you get yourself together, we're heading back. Eddie? We're out here for us, okay? We'll just bide our time and let everything calm down a bit first. What's the most important thing about a war? Winning. No. Guess again. Defeating evil. No, Eddie. Surviving. You can't win or defeat evil if there's no one left to do it. You see? Yeah, right. Will? Yeah, mate? Why are they trying to kill us? Because we're the good guys, right? Mary says that we're doing the right thing. Everyone's a good guy in war. No, they definitely aren't. Yeah, but they think they are. They think that we're the bad guys, right? So they're trying to defeat evil, just like you, just like us. Well, they're stupid then. <laughs> That's one word for it, mate. It will do. We can't stay here forever, though. Well, we can't go anywhere. If they find us, they'll shoot us. Court martial. Firing squad of your pins. I don't know if you've spoken to Sparky lately, but Spots heard him say he'd pay a pound and fifteen to see me with a bullet through my eye. So I think he'd take the opportunity to string me up as soon as he saw me. Let's just stay out here and wait it out. Wait what out? The war. What? But that could be months, years even. I need to be out there, fighting Jerry, you know? Like we signed up to do? Signed up? That's a joke. I can't just sit here and do nothing. Okay, mate. We'll talk about it later, all right? Let's just have a break. Get our heads together and worry about it at a time that isn't now. Yeah? Yeah. You're right, of course. Just stop panicking, all right? We'll be fine. We just need to keep calm and we'll be okay. Find something to distract you, like a rock or something yeah we'll be fine
night. Night, mate. Will. Will. Get up. Will. Don't ever do that again. There's someone here. No, there isn't. Yes, there is. Is it small, feathery, and looks like a bird? No. Is it small, furry, and looks like a squirrel? No, just look. If I go, put all common sense aside and have a look. Am I going to see nothing? And I have to explain to your mother why her son walks lop sided. Go. What? Eddie. Go. Don't move. Is he gone? I don't know. I'm trying to listen. I think he's gone. I can't see him. Be quiet. He could be one of ours. But then I guess he'd just shoot us anyway. Or worse, take us to HQ where they'd shoot us. Maybe it would be better if it was a German. Shut up. Keep going. Twisted. Well, he's awake, he isn't dead. That's entirely my bad, mate. I hold my hands up on that one. Honestly. What happened? It's complicated. He hit you in the head. Yeah, well, that, really. With a stick, he gets it. Cheers, mate. Why? I thought you were the Bosch boys. I got a bit ahead of myself. He said he was sorry, Will. No, he didn't. Lance Corporal Stark. Joe. Pleasure. Lance Corporal William Walker. I know. Eddie said. Why? He said we could stay with him. He said we'd be safer with him. Well, no. I mentioned that I had a place and you sort of invited yourself. We're not safer with anyone, Ed. We're safer on our own. We know each other. We trust each other. Enough. We can move quicker. Quieter, too. Yeah. About as quiet as a jacko with a whiz bang for his foot. I could hear you a mile off. It's only one more person, Will. One more person, and another one more person, and another one more person is lots of people. Before you know it, We'll be back with our bloody battalion. Just until the morning. It's going to get dark we'll soon. We'll be locked up before the morning. He will trade us in for a tin of beans as soon as he can. I don't leave whenever you talk. You know. He won't. He's got just as much to lose as we do. I'm still here. Just for one night. We can go back tomorrow. I'm not going back. I promise you that. Okay. Fine. I'll take you to the border and then I'll go back on my own. One night, and we'll move at sunrise, and that's final. All right, then. Come on. Don't hit me again. Please.
Okay. Just in there. It's not very clean in here. I like it. Is it yours? It's now. I found it like this. Previous owners seem to have left in a hurry, so I don't think they're coming back. Where's the food? The water? The beds? Do you have anything? They took my stuff. Burned whatever they couldn't carry. We're lucky we've got what we've got. As far as food goes, I'm running a bit low at the moment, but I could always go and check the traps if you want. Or you could. Consider it rent. For what? Rabbits? Deer? Yeah, sometimes rabbits. Rats mainly, I'll be honest. I just put bits of bread down and grab them before they run off. This... hole isn't fit for a dog. We're not staying here. Okay. Bye then. Where are you going? We're going home. Eddie, come on. And how long would it take to get there? From where we are now, how long would it take? Hmm? A week? Two? Three, even? I just remember there's a, a pretty big puddle top over called the channel. What are you planning to do about that? We'll go to the shore. Try by the boat or something, I don't know. You don't know? You were just going to stroll through German-occupied France and hope for the best, yeah? Hope they didn't notice a spare boat as they were cramming 16-year-old lads with an arm or a leg missing onto driftwood! Well thought out, soldier. Exactly. So sit down. How long you been here for? Too long. Where are the rest of you? The rest of who? The British bloody army. <laughs> yeah, you're a joke. It's just me. Just being me for a while. Why are you still here? Knows are you, aren't you? Ask a lot of questions. You're allowed one more one. Then you've got to shut up for a bit. What's with the bandage? Waste of a question. We're done here. Goodness. What's up with him? He seems sad. Yeah, no wonder. I'd be sad if there were a toilet as well. It's not a toilet. I don't think. It's just for a few nights. Well, we can sleep on the floor, use a sandbag as a pillow. It'll be nice. I'll stay. We've got homes to go to. Real ones. Our ones. We have to stay for a bit, we promise. I don't think so, no. We need to get moving as soon as we can. We'll go at dawn, right? Fine. 
I'll walk with you to the nearest village and then I'll go back on my own. Explain that I got confused in the attack and I got lost. Eddie, we've been over this a hundred times. You're coming home. I can't, Will. I want to, really, but I have to go back. You've never killed anyone. You've had three months training and that isn't enough. You're not here to defeat the German army. You're here to hold them back long enough so the people behind us can build bigger and better weapons. We are a distraction. That's not true. It is true. Just think. For once, stop being so stupid and think. Going to go check Joe's traps. Eddie, come on. Grow up, will you? You shouldn't talk to him like that, you know? What do you care? We've only got each other. All of us. Everyone. And you can't trust yourself. You have to rely on the people around you. You take him for granted. Treat him badly. Treat him like that. But at some point, when you really need him to, he is not going to listen to you. I'm telling you now. You don't have to listen to me. But it will save you a whole world of trouble if you do. Don't get all emotions and feelings with me now. Anyway, he's too stupid to listen to me. He's like a sheep. He just does what everyone else does. He can't think for himself. I carry him, you know. I've had a think, and I might just go back now, Eddie. I know you have a burning desire to go and get yourself killed, but let's just relax and think about it first, yeah? I'm not trying to get myself killed. I don't want that. I just feel helpless here, like a coward, useless. You're not useless, mate. Dad says I am. I'm sure he doesn't mean it. That's because you've not met him. Is he here? No. He wasn't fit enough to join up yet, he said. He made me sign up. You must be proud of you though, right? You put the uniform on, come all the way out here, what more could you want? Ed's brother died in France two months ago. He was on the front line. Pretty much owned him, really. He was a man after his father's heart, wasn't he? Dad's never been proud of him. It's not about just being here. It's not about the job we do or who we are. But what it brings to the family, what it brings to his reputation. You are here, volunteered to be here, in fact. You've done as much as you can. Could have been smarter. Then maybe they would have put me in charge of division as well, instead of just taking orders from everyone all the time like I'm nobody. You're only 18, man. He's 26. He is 26. Yeah. Of course. He's more training than you. He's ready for that sort of thing. Every letter since has been about him, like, every single one. I wish I could be like that to him. I want him to feel like that about me, you know? I'd do anything to know I made him proud. Take a hundred bullets, run a thousand miles, dive on a million grenades, anything. I'm sure being told it's precious note Eddie was a deserter wouldn't put a smile on his face. I'm not a deserter! I'm going back! As soon as I've taken Will, I'm going back. You got a spare match? Will, but... 
Please, just go. What does I do? There are people dying out there. Real people with families and wives and children, all dropping down dead and leaving them with nothing. If you're going to drag me out here and hide from your duty and hide from your pathetic self, just sitting here, dodging the column for your own selfishness, then at least you can have some respect instead of messing about. to rely on the people around you. I don't know the first thing about you. What led you to desertion? I'm not a deserter. It's okay. I'm We're not, not set a deserter. I'm not lying to you, Eddie. I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm just not. That's all. But you said you were. So you lied to us. I trusted you, Joe. I told you, Peter Blair. We would have thought of CI by now. They'll be in my way. I didn't lie. Well, I would say that was debatable. You said it, and I let you believe it. <laughs> I'd rather be a dessert. So as the British Army happen. in front of me. I was clawing at the walls, trying to find my bearings. When suddenly there was a bright flash. The brightest light I have ever seen with a heat so unimaginably hot it felt like it burned right through my soul. It felt like it went on forever and then it was gone in no time at all. I reached up to my 
the tears from my eyes. And that's why I feel. The remains of a hand grenade shell sticking out of my face, about two and a half inches in straight through my eye. I panicked and I tore it out and that's the last I remember of it. You're A3. They let you walk straight through. Who would hire me, mate? Besides a freak show. It's not that bad. Do me a favour, Eddie. Don't lie to me. Please. You'll be alright, mate. Listen, we'll sort something out. We'll take you home. You'll be a hero. People will be cheering your name. People will throw rocks at me and laugh. I'd rather stay here. Thank you all the same. They won't. I know it. I can picture it now. You and me. We'll be walking down the street with everyone throwing flowers at us. And cheering us and thanking us for saving them and protecting the world. We'll walk past Mr. Samuels from the Butchers and Mrs. Thompson from the Florist and Mary. Wait till you meet my Mary. She's the prettiest little thing I've ever seen. She'll see me in my uniform with all my medals and she'll run up past all the people and hug me and beg me to dance with her. Her band will play Danny and the Deep Cowboys. My favourite. I'll dance until the stars come out. I'll tell her about our many missions and that time your rations fell in the river, remember Will? And her duck ate them. I'll tell her the funny story of how we met you, Joe. Well, I guess it's not that funny. I'll still tell her. She likes to hear my stories. I'm gonna marry her one day. I am. She said she'll wait and I know she will. You know what? I'm gonna marry her the day we get back. I'll write to her tomorrow to ask. Mate, you're being stupid. I'm not stupid, I know it. I understand, but just listen, just for a second. This is a war. A big one, but at the end of the day, it is just another war. Another page in another book. How many people do you think are fighting right now? I don't know. Guess. Hundreds. Thousands. Try millions, mate. Right? Millions and millions, all like you. And you think you'll be worth a mention? Yeah, they told us. I know. Them. Trust me, I know. They tell us all the same things. Promise us all the same things, but it's lies. But I, I know it's hard for you to hear, mate. But there's been wars before us, and there'll be wars after us. We'll end up being an unmarked stone cross in a sea of stone crosses on a hillside facing the sun, and that is all the thanks we'll get for all of this, for going through this, going through hell. Oh. He's right. 
people fighting a losing battle. Thousands of men are being gunned down where they stand for nothing more than being born in a country their parents happen to We're be We're not in. losing. They told I us... I know that. what they told you! They tell us what we want to hear. What keeps us moving. Following orders like mining a sheep. But people would rather believe a lie that they want to hear than accept the truth. But we'll get through it, though. Yeah, of course we will, man. What about the hotel school and you'll be with your dad? We just need to keep our heads down. You are, you can't stay here. I hate to break it to you, but I'm afraid I can. Listen, we're all gonna die anyway, aren't we? Everyone does. No matter how good you are or what you do, it catches up with you. You run, but not fast enough. The game is just putting it off for as long as you can. Starving, sleep deprived. That's not a life, <laughs> not a real one. What are you talking about? I've had a long time to think about it. Each day, waking up just to go back to sleep. The sun rises, thousands die, the sun sets, it's driving me mad! It's a bit like that. I can't just sit here any longer! I'm going where no bullets fly and no blood is spilled. about it. Dreaming about it. I was too scared to go alone. Oh, you are here. Both of you. It's a grenade, Eddie! I know what it is. I'm not stupid. Well, tell him! If you're so clever, tell him! Help me. Make him stop! Eddie! It's a guaranteed way out. None of us have to go back to the suffering, the screaming, the blood. I order you to disarm that man. Do it. What? Eddie, no! He's right, Will. I don't like from the start. I knew you'd do this! I knew we couldn't trust you! I told you! I bloody told you! You didn't listen! You never listened to me! None of us lose here, Will. None of us have to go back to the suffering and the screaming and the blood. But we will still go as soldiers. As fighters doing our duty, our families will remember us as heroes. They'll remember me as I was! Isn't that what you want? We won't be heroes! We'll be nothing! We'll be dead! We are already nothing! That's something! I have a family and money and a home. You two aren't trying to be down with you! When they finally get you, after years of running and hiding, what will you have then? Or did you think they just leave you alone the sucker they couldn't see you? Mary, 
Mary, eh? You can't stop going on about her. She's all you've mentioned for the past year. What are you gonna do? You're just gonna leave her? Leave her on her own? There's no Mary, Will. There's no Mary! Nobody is waiting for me! I made her up! I needed a reason to survive even if it didn't exist. If I lived, no one would be waiting for me. No one is waving. There'll be no band playing. I needed it. I needed a reason. Your parents. Oh yeah, a private who's never killed anyone, who got through the Great War by running and hiding, just what Dad wanted. He wouldn't speak to me again. At least this way he won't be sick every time he thinks of me. This is what you've done. You've ruined this. Ruined it. For everybody! I can't die. I can't! Wait. Stop. Thank you, Eddie. Could I do it? For Dad, you know? Stop! Brother, hand the explosive. Now. No. That's an order, Private. No. Sir. Eddie, don't make me do this. It's okay to be scared, Will. I'm scared, Ed. I'm so scared. I know. So am I. Ready? God save the king.
Thank you.